Yes, Melbourne, thank you very much for having me. I watch too many goddamn cooking shows. I like MasterChef. I was watching an episode of MasterChef. They're making ravioli, okay? And they're doing like fine imprints on the ravioli, like love hearts and stuff to their loved ones. And like, I wanted to do something. I had a whole afternoon to myself. But I didn't have a pasta maker. And they said on the show, hey, don't worry if you don't have a pasta maker, you can do ravioli with a rolling pin. And I was like, sick. And then I remember that I don't have a rolling pin. And I was like, shit. And I had to like, <laughs> I, I don't realize I don't have flour or eggs, nothing. I didn't have anything, okay? It was a stupid idea in the first place. But I got excited and I went to the shops and I go up to the dude at the supermarket and I'm like, hey, do you guys sell rolling pins? And the guy goes, yeah, they're in aisle nine, two for $10. <laughs> That's the shittest deal ever. No one goes from a zero pin household to a two pin household <laughs> on a whim. What are you talking about? What do you think I'm rolling? I'm making pasta and I'm not rolling bitumen. I'm not anticipating my next pin. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Maybe three for 15 if you're trying to, you know, hit that juggler's market, but not two for 10, that's stupid. <laughs> I was annoyed because I was like, I don't want to take a rolling pin that I'm not going to use. That would be a waste. But then I was like, but I don't want to, you know, not take up a deal that's this good a bargain. I mean, that, that is an absolute bargain. <laughs> two for $10. The material alone. So I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna bloody take them both. Then I get to all nine, all sold out. I was like, God damn it, I can't believe this shit! <laughs> Missed out on the deal of a lifetime. Now I gotta go to Kmart, buy one for the price of one, like an idiot, okay? Look like a fool in front of everyone. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to do that. I went, I went home and I rolled ravioli out with an empty long neck bottle. Do you know how fucking pathetic that is? Do you know how sad that is? Crushing out pasta for your girlfriend with an empty VB tally? Do you know how sad that is? Serving up, every parcel has 750ML imprinted on it. Just... <laughs> How sad that is. That's when you do when you get so much time. I work on breakfast radio, I finish my job. 12 o'clock I walk out and I just hang out all day. And I love breakfast radio, I love it heaps. But I'm talking to a million people all at once. Very difficult to talk to a million people all at once because someone is an expert about whatever you're talking about, I guarantee you that. You can say anything. The other day I'm like, oh, do snails have teeth? Don't think so, you're on Triple J. Boom, neck minute. Duh, of course snails have teeth, you dumb fucking prick. I don't know that shit. <laughs> I think I know anything about snails, man. I saw one outside my door. That's the only reason why I said it, okay? I didn't bring my 101 snail fax book to work, dude. <laughs> I hate snails, I never high five. They probably use Hotmail accounts. Fuck snails, I hate them so much. <laughs> well, that's something that someone specifically has studied their whole life for. If you say something wrong that everyone knows, forget it, bros. If you say it's Tuesday when it's actually Wednesday, oh, game over, man. <laughs> hey, hope you're having a good Tuesday. You're on Triple J, boom. As soon as you press play, you're like, oh no. <laughs> and I shake, I shiver as I walk over to the text line because I just know wall to wall abuse is going to happen. Oi, dickhead, it's Wednesday. Oi, you idiot, it's Wednesday. Oi, bro, I got ready for Tuesday because you said it was Tuesday. So I packed roll ups and roll up Tuesday. It turns out it's Music Bar Wednesday on site. Everyone's eating Music Bars. <laughs> I look like an idiot. I'm sorry, man. You come back after a four minute song, like, I'm sorry, I said it was Tuesday, it's actually Wednesday, let's move on. And it's calm, and it's cool, and everyone feels good about themselves. And life moves on as normal. And then half an hour later, everyone from Adelaide's like, it's fucking Wednesday, you <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mary Kine. thank you so much for having me.